Hello, knuckleheads! Welcome to Midget Games, and we are here with Project Nimbus. Now, this game actually caught my eye because it looks a lot like Gundam. Um, we're going to do a little bit of the campaign mode, just to kind of give you guys a taste of the game here. Um, this is still in early access, um, as you can see in the corner, wherever I put my thing at. That um, it's early access, um, but I would say it's something I would... If you, if you want to play a beta game, it's something I would recommend. If it's something you would rather wait for a finished game, I would say that you would want to wait for it then. But I will go ahead and give you guys a little bit of a play on this. Um, this is just testing out my WASDs. Up, down. Move around with the mouse. Now it's while it says like space plus the letter, it's actually the letter first and then space. So just just FYI, guys, um, this is really a fast-paced game. So if you like fast pace, this is definitely for you guys then. Um, but other than that, it's, it's decent pace. Camera's almost a little unsmooth. It doesn't, like, I can move my character around the screen and then it kind of, it's, it glitches. I don't know if it glitches a little bit, but it just doesn't, the camera is not very steady. It has issues. Um, which is, it's a calibration thing, really, to be honest. If, if you're looking at, um, get, things that are just there, it, it's, it's really calibration. I've not had any issues with playing the game or anything like that, so, um, but it's okay. Uh, I always just escape that, because I want to show you the map, too. And give you guys a little bit of what's going on here. Woo! There's that. Um, so you get tanks and other, um, Gundam-ish like machines almost. Um, and it's it's a lot of action. It's it's quite fun. Again, there is some issues with it. Um, doing one of my playthroughs with this game um, when I was still having recording issues. Um, I am a lot. God damn, I'm sorry guys. <laughs> uh, doing one of my playthroughs um, one of the machines that I was fighting against just glitch in the building. It just went into the building and I couldn't shoot at it. I couldn't do nothing. It just would not go anywhere. I ended up having to get like almost next to the building and shoot it down from the inside almost. Like it was kind of weird. And like, oh, I see, I just, I almost got stuck there. And then... If you don't unclick out of your target lock, it you can really screw up your camera pretty quick. I s easily got that problem. Um, but it's using Unreal Engine 4, which is not a bad engine. I mean, everyone thinks it's the heyday thing. It's, it's okay. So... We'll see how it goes, but oh, there's some advertising. Roll crit. <laughs> that is cool. I like that. Okay. So, stamp tanks. Okay, hold on. I need to unclick. See, that's again, like. And it's just. Ah, come on. And I gotta figure out how to.
you know, move, move her around is kind of just something I need to get you. <laughs> It's so hard to get used to this. It's it really is. We'll see how that goes there. Speed over this way here. Overall, I like the game though. I think it's a, a tad too clumsy right now. I think there needs to be some very fine work done to this. Um, Whoever is working on it, you know, I can I congratulate them. This is a good game, really good game for where it's at. Like, I am impressed at how well it's doing. But um, the biggest thing I would say is the controls need to be... Not even the controls, it's the camera. It's the camera and just fine-tuning the mechanical... Con the in-game controls, there we go. Not the actual buttons or anything. The buttons are fine. Like, everything... I'm getting used to playing this game, so... Um, getting adjusted to the game is just fine. But... Overall, the game's not too bad. Um, but I guess the other thing the other thing with this game is it just it's a lot of flashing. Lots of flashing. And it just, it's something that, it, it just, yeah, it's, it's kind of typical to what the early arcade games are, which is fine, um, but I think it's, it just takes away too much from the game. And it's kind of, I don't know. It's kind of nice to see a picture of it. I mean, I've never, I haven't seen that in quite a while. Reloading, come on. There we go. There we go. Let's go back this way. Um, overall, this game for being an early access is actually fairly built fairly well. I'm not not mad about it at all. Um, I mean, for beta, obviously, I would say I would give it. I'll give it a solid B. It's not bad. Um, it's better than what I would think some people would have these games. Ooh, wow! I died. Okay. It's better than where I thought these games would be at. Um, it's something that I've been really kind of enjoying. Uh, if you like beta games uh, and you like um, the old kind of Gundam games, this might be the game for you. It's not necessarily a straightforward first-person shooter. Um, obviously, this would fit the kind of the first-person shooter genre. But if it's something along that lines that's futuristic robots, kind of like that, um, back more of the anime day style. This might be the game for you guys. Um, otherwise, um, if you don't like the clunky mechanics to it, or um, you don't like the Gundam style, you'd rather have like more of a Call of Duty style first person shooter, this might not be the game for you then. Um, otherwise, it, it, it was fun. Um, again, B is what I would probably give it. It's not an A by any stretch of the imagination in my book, but it's definitely not a C because. Um, using Unreal Engine and putting the work into this, um, 
I can tell that the detail and the care is there. So, um, I love the game. I think it's great. Uh, if you guys liked the video, um, please give it a like. If you want to see more fun content like this, uh, subscribe today and I'll get some more content out for you guys. Otherwise, keep on gaming, keep on having fun, and let's play.